Hi, welcome to Calypso Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll see how to create a local database and use it to hold data that will be imported and exported with text files. I have here a simple project who has a local table called products composed by code, name and stock. There's also a simple interface to perform an inventory. Our first step is to fetch data files from the server. That's easy to achieve with a powerful tool like MIS Communicator. So I'm going to start by creating a communication profile. I'll call it TCP and save. Now I'm going to create a button. Call it button import. Text is going to be import. And what we need to do is to get a file from the PC. So get file from PC through the profile we've just created. And assuming that the source file is going to be under the synchro folder, define it on MIS Communicator, we can just say, okay backslash products txt. Let's save the file in p folder. Don't forget the backslash at the end. And let's say yes to delete the source file. So after fetching the file, we need to process it. That's also very easy to achieve with the file import to table action file import to table. We start by defining the file that we want to process, so the one that we just fetched it from the server, which is in p folder, and it's called product.txt. Specify that we want to process it into the products table, since we are importing uh, actually a CSV file, although it's TXT extension, the enter is going to mark the end of the record. So it's going to be one record for each line. And the field separator is going to be the semicolon. In the details tab, we're going to say yes to delete the source file if the importation is successful. Now, in the columns tab, we need to add one column for the code. So, into code, the next column should be to name and the last one to stock. Save and you're set to import the file. Save. Before we can test, let me just adjust the position and also the size. I'm going to put it halfway there to the end because we then going to make an export button. And now to be able to test, we need to create on the synchro folder a file that we can try and import. So we can go here, paths. This is the synchro folder being used. I can copy it, open file explorer and go that. You can see I've already created the file. Let's open it to see what it has. It's empty, so let's input some data. Another product code and the stock. So I'm going to save it. And now we can test our project. Let's start to viewing the products we have on the database. There are none. Okay, exit. Let's try to import and check out the table again. And here you have our product that we've just imported from the file. We can even check out that the file was deleted from the server. 
To export the data, we can apply the same concept. Let's create a new button. I'm going to copy this one to make it easier. This one is not import, but export. And what we want to do, it's none of this, so we can remove all of that. We want actually to export data from the table. So file export from table. We can ask Calypso to run the wizard to make it easier. Select the table that we want to export. We're going to export all the columns. We don't want to specify any filter in our case, but you could if you want to export just some of the data, not all of the data. We're going to use the semicolon as the field separator. Press done. And now in the action parameters, most of them are already preloaded, but we still need to define the file that we want to create. So I'm going to create in the project folder a file and call it products out txt. Save. So now we need to send this file onto the server. So send file to PC through the profile we've created. The file we want to send is obviously p folder products txt. We want to save it in the synchro folder. So we just need to input a backslash product txt. Oh, this is product out. Even here it's products out. So if the file exists on the server, we will just append the information. It means no one processed it. Okay, but we want to delete it the source file if the sending was successful. So save and let's try it out. Let's start by changing some stock, go to inventory, product code. So let's switch it to 150, save. Now let's try an export. Here's the file on the server. We can open it. We don't want to keep the other one. We can remove it. And as you can see, it exports the data that we've changed in the application. So we can close it. If by any chance you don't want to use MIS Communicator, you can use other technology like, for instance, FTP. So let me exemplify how to do it. I'm going to duplicate the import button. I'm going to identify him as being import by FTP. So we don't want to do any of this right now. So what we actually want to do is start by connecting to the FTP server. So FTP connect. I have an FTP server locally, so localhost for me. This is string, don't forget. And my username is tutorial. There's no password. Now, after connecting, and I'm going to use the root folder, I just need to FTP get file. The file we want, it's obviously products txt and we want to save it in p folder. Let me copy this to make it easier. And we don't want to overwrite if it exists. Finally, we disconnect. And right now, just like FTP is an alternative to MIS Communicator, instead of using file import to table, just like before, you can manually process the file. So let's start by 
loading the content of the file. So we want to load the content of this file into temporary variable 0, which I'm going to call file content. Let me just put a line here in the middle. And now we can easily process all the records using the for each statement. We want to browse the tokens of a string, which means that an iteration will be performed each time a separator is found. So select browse tokens of the string, press next, and Calypso prompts you for the source string, which is obviously the file content, and the separator string, which is the end of the record, therefore the enter. Now we just select the target of each token for a new temporary variable, which I'm going to call record. Now inside the for each, we need to process each line, each record, starting by checking if the record exists in the database. So we do an if. We can use the lookup function and look up in table products a record where the code is equal to the value that we are trying to process. But remember, we only have the entire record, so we need to extract the code from the record. So we need extract string. The source string is the record. We know that column code is the first one, and the separator, obviously, semicolon. I'm going to copy. So, if the record exists, if the lookup is true, we need to update it. So, update, and we want to extract the string again for the, one of the columns, extract the second for the name, and the third for the stock. Remember the file where product code equals the first one. But notice that we are in Calypso syntax, so I cannot use the extract string expression here. I need to set it up as a string expression. I don't want any conversion because I'm going to edit myself. So this is now a string value. Which means that we need to be careful with single quotes. So where code equals the value extracted from the record. Otherwise, we want to insert, so we can copy, we can paste, right-click, convert to an insert. All we need to do is saving, add the error management, and collapse. So, save it and give it a try. So, I'm going to create the file on my FTP. So, new text document products. I can even copy this. So here I want 300. And this I want it to be a new one. Let's put it Red Bull with 300 also. Save. And now let's try to import through FTP. You can see it already handed, so products, and you can see Coca-Cola was updated to 300 and Red Bull was inserted. So just like import, we can obviously apply the same concept to export the data. 
So again, let me duplicate the button. Well, better off. Let's duplicate this one. It's going to save us some time. We want to export by FTP. And we do not want this for now. So let me just comment. Let me select them also the rest. What we do want is to start by opening the file where we are going to write the value. So for that we call file open. Let's call it p folder products out just like before txt. The opening mode is append so if it exists we want to append and save. Now we need to retrieve and browse the data that we need to export. So again we need the for each. So we need to browse the result of a select statement. We want to get the column code assigned to a temporary variable which I'm going to call column code. Do the same thing for column name. And then one last for the stock column. Now inside the for each, we need to save the record onto the file. For that we use file write. And the value is the sum of column code with the separator, semicolon, column name, the separator semicolon, and column stock. At the end, don't forget to file close. So the only thing missing now is sending the file, which we will do just like the import. So we already have the FTP actions. We can just remove all the rest uncomment the FTP actions. And the only difference is that we don't want to get any file we want to send. There's no conversion in, on this case, but we can simply delete and I'll call FTP put file. The file we want is pfolder products out txt and the target file, we just need the name of it. And don't overwrite if it already exists. Save, collapse the Acher management, and save. Let's try it out. So before we proceed, let's see there's no products out on the server in the FTP server, export, and the file, the file appears on the server. We can open it and we can see the three products that we have. Congratulations, you've concluded the tutorial about import and exporting data with text files from a local database.